Hey everyone, Savannah Tree Foundation Field Manager Jake Henry here and today I wanted to talk about uh, a characteristic of trees. So we're going to look at this specimen right here in particular. This is a Schumard oak or Quercus schumardii. Uh, it's in the red oak family so it kind of has those pointy ends on the lobes of the leaves. Uh, but really what I wanted to focus on today is root flare and that's this right here at the base of the tree. Um, we've talked about this a little bit before. If you were watching our video with Shem Kendrick, local certified arborist, he was actually doing some air spading where they blow air into the dirt and help remove it from the base of the tree. And during that video, we were actually doing some remediation, a little bit uh, to help the tree and uh, really expose that root flare. And I wanted to point this one out because this is a great example of what the goal is. We really want to be able to see this root flare coming off the base of the tree. Uh, it's important for a lot of reasons. Uh, one of the main ones being that if you have a lot of soil and mulch piled up around the base of the tree, it can actually cause a lot of pest and decay problems. So a lot of moisture builds up. It's really attractive for pests. So we don't want that. Um, Another reason we like to see that is it helps us make sure that this tree is stable. These roots are really important for the stabilization of the tree. So we wanna make sure that we can see these. If it's all buried, it's hard for us to know what's actually going on underground. And if there are any issues, we'll be able to identify them much faster than if these were buried below ground. Uh, so we'll just take a walk around here and see how beautiful these roots look. It's really nice root flare. Now, I'm going to just kind of on a related note point out that you can see the roots coming out over here, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, we've talked about before that most of the roots are right beneath the soil surface, so usually no deeper than 12 to 18 inches, so a foot to a foot and a half. Uh, as these roots grow and get bigger and larger, uh, they are going to tend to poke out of the ground, especially if you have some soil erosion and soil that washes away. So that's not necessarily a bad thing. It can be a bit of a trip hazard, so gotta make sure that we're careful about that. Uh, but in terms of the tree's health, it's really not a bad thing to be able to start seeing some of those roots. So again, root flares, super important. Uh, some trees are more prone to having a more distinct root flare than others. So a great example is uh, bald cypress. These are trees that are really well adapted to swamps, and wetlands, very saturated areas that really need to stabilize themselves a lot. And they do that even further with those cypress knees that sort of come up a little bit further away from the roots. The amount of root flare can vary depending on species and some tend to have more than others. So these, these red oaks tend to have a good bit of root flare. Uh, and if we just take a look over here, uh, we can see this crepe myrtle has a little bit, you know, just just a bit of root flare down there, but not a ton, not nearly as much. Uh, so it really can vary a good bit by species. And that's just one thing to remember that trees are different. There's no one size fits all for what it should look like. Uh, but in general, with these red oaks, they, they can tend to have some really nice, healthy root flare if we just help them out and make sure it's possible. Thank you all so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Take care.